time when a gallon of gas, I used to say, is running more than $4 a gallon, and I drove through Santa Barbara and saw that it's now at $5 a gallon, I'm very sorry to say. And it, but it, what it means that our government needs to shake off years of partisan paralysis that has prevented America from achieving energy security. Nothing is more urgent now than regaining our energy security. We need to get it done, and we need to get it right. People are hurting and struggling to afford gasoline, food, and other necessities. Common sense requires that we draw upon America's own vast reserves of oil and natural gas. When nations Every year, the federal government buys upwards of 60,000 cars and other vehicles, not including military or law enforcement vehicles. From now on, we're going to make those civilian vehicles flex fuel capable, plug in hybrid, or cars fueled by clean natural gas. If our great goal is to move American transportation toward lower carbon emissions, then it should start with the federal fleet. Add it all up. And that makes the federal government the single largest consumer of electricity in the world. This represents another enormous opportunity that my administration will take by retrofitting where possible and by applying higher efficiency standard to new buildings leased or purchased, we can save taxpayers billions of dollars in energy costs and move the market in the direction of green technology.